Okay, a little earlier I was talking about uh, what us uh, HVAC guys could maybe do to help in this uh, COVID uh, pandemic. Because we deal with airflow a lot of times, we might be able to have some assistance in reducing the spread. Not that we're going to stop anything. What we're doing is just trying to come up with something that will help. I know I've had a few comments about, well, yeah, but you can't, if you say their air is purified, then there's a liability issue and so on. I can't deal with any of that stuff. I, you know, that's for lawyers, I guess. What I can deal with is I can talk to you about things that I think would help, that might work. And specifically, it's UV and uh, it's GUV, germicidal you know, uh, UV. And they make specific lights for this. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you what one of them looks like here up in the corner. And uh, I mean, it's not new stuff. They've done this before. This has been done for, uh, for other... Uh, uh, outbreaks but I think you could this could be applied to things like restaurants which have been hit so hard if you have a 10 foot ceiling uh, anything above 7 feet and I don't think 8 feet's enough I think you need a little more than that and the fact that we do have uh, diffusers in most of these restaurants of diffusers are in the ceiling and the return is in the ceiling and trying to use that to advantage to be able to direct UV light into the airflow uh, to uh, deactivate I guess they call it deactivate the virus because nobody's really sure whether they're live or not uh, and it is very effective at doing it. And we've talked a little bit about ductwork, putting it in ductwork. And one of the issues with ductwork that I've seen so far is that it's pretty much said by most of the manufacturers that they're only about 70% efficient in the ductwork. And I think that's because the air is moving fast. You know, we're probably running eight or nine hundred uh, foot per minute commercial should could be much higher than that and so that's going to reduce its effectiveness you can have higher effectiveness if the air is moving slower well a supply diffuser is actually designed just to do that to take the duct uh, feet per minute coming out and spread it out uh, into the room so that it gets to all the room and of course it slows down as it does. Because that air is coming out and it's moving somewhat slower that UV light passing across it could be effective at deactivating the virus. And it's also going to be effective at uh, deactivating the virus when it comes up in the return. And here I'm showing a uh, diagram. Don't laugh at my silly diagram. It's I'm not very good at this stuff. I just kind of throw it together, and so maybe it works. I don't know. You can understand. Uh, you've got two supplies and one return. The return is more or less central. The supplies are on the outside, and we have a device that is projecting light across the room. Now you don't want to put this light where it can be around people because uh, there's problems there. But And they usually have louvers on it to direct it whatever way you want. And I'm showing it just going directly across the room. And as the supply air comes down, it has to pass through that ultraviolet light. And the way most of these supply and return systems in the ceiling work 
is the air moves down and it slows down as it's moving down, mixes with the air in the structure, and then starts to move towards the return. Now the return doesn't have quite the impetus that the supply does, but it, it shouldn't make a lot of difference there. Usually that air will go down to about three feet or so. Uh, cooling it may go down a little more, heating may be a little higher. Uh, and then it will come back up. So the light has two chances to deactivate that virus. And if you notice on the supplies, when the supply goes down and then it goes across, it is going to kind of sweep anything that's in the air. Now these are going to be droplets probably. This thing seems to be borne by the droplets of uh, when you're speaking. And so uh, certainly a sneeze will do a whole bunch of it. But it should come down, it should kind of sweep across and then go out back up in the return. In my opinion, I think that's probably a pretty effective way to get the UV light in contact with the room air and do a better job of cleaning. This is just a service tax idea. Uh, maybe it's been done before many times over. I haven't seen a lot about it. Uh, I have seen some on the internet. But this is just my idea for one of the things we can do. There's a multitude of other things that can be done, but, you know, HVAC techs, we can do this one. And so I'd like to see some of this and see how it works. I don't know if we'll, we're going to see it. Um, I've seen, you know, on TV, I've seen some where they, they stick one of these things in the middle of a room. And I'm not sure that's a great idea because I'm not sure it's good for you to, to be hit by that, uh, that UV light. I won't say I'm an expert on any of that, but it's visible, and I think that's what what they're considering. But understand a couple of things about UV light. It has to come in contact with the virus in order to de deactivate it. And a lot of people are using lights, uh, real strong GUVs, uh, so when the room is not occupied, they can go through there, do this in airplanes too, and deactivate the viruses that way. Well, you can do that, but anything the light does not touch, it does not deactivate. So there is problems with using uh, UV light for that. So not always effective, but with the way I'm thinking about using it, it does contact the uh, the virus that's airborne and hopefully would sweep it out of the room with as little contact as possible to anyone else in the room. Okay, that's I've thrown my two cents in there and uh, love to hear comments on it. Uh, love to hear if somebody's trying to do something like this or if they have any other ideas. Okay, that's it on this one.